Hello my friends, uh, we've known a lot of things for this upload product page. So now it's time to complete this page. So by making this unsubmit function, but when we click this unsubmit function, we will just uh, send all of the data we put in here into the database. But we didn't even make the product model. So first, we need to make the product model. Inside the product model, there are lots of fields we need to fill. So first we will make the product model and then we will go to step 4 because we already finished this step 2 and 3. So we will make the unsubmit function and we will just submit all information into the server and we will save them inside the MongoDB. So first we will make this product model. So go to our text editor in here and scroll down. Uh, inside the uh, modes folders, we will make the file names the pro.dot.js, and we will bring all of the codes from the user models and delete every unnecessary code here. And we need to rename the schema as a pro.dot schema, and change this one and pro.dot, and we don't need to have these dependencies we also need to delete this field that belong to user model so first we need to add the fields in here writer writer type will be schema and types and object id but we don't have schema that comes from so we need to bring the schema from the mongoose and schema and then the rep will be the user the reason why we put like this is so if we just have this writer's id we can go to the user model and we can bring all of the information about this user by putting like this ref user after this title title type will be the string and max length will be just the 50 and next one is the description and type will be string again and price type will be number and default one is the zero because the price starts from the zero and we also need to have images the type needs to be the array because the, we are not going to just uh, save only one image so we can save more than one images that's why we need to set the type as an array and default will be just array like this and continent type will be number the reason why we need to give this type as a number is if we come to here so rather than we put this value inside a continent value we put this number key value in here so that's why it will be number one or number two number three the fourth one is the one because it start from key one and initial state is one for this continent value so sort so how many this product is sold type number and max length maybe just 100 so we only have 100 available so default will be zero because at the first time we didn't sell anything so it start from the zero and maybe we can have the views and type will be number again and default zero and lastly inside in here we need to put the timestamp so automatically we will know that created at and updated at information now that's it for the product model so the next step will be make unsubmit functions we go to our text editor and then upload product page Here and click on submit mm, for this one too. And submit 
and make this unsummary function appear and we need to have event and we need to get event and prevent default and we need to do HTTP request in here by using the Axios and this will be post request and the pass will be API product and upload product and we need to put lots of properties like these values so very variables we define the variables in here mm. so if we go to product model so there are the fields we need to fill so first glider information this can come from the redox information so if we come back to our applications if we turn up like redox extension uh, in here there is a user information like this the login users information so login users id and email and name and image so we can bring the writers information from the redox so props and users and user data and id okay put the props in here and then the title title comes from this title value and then the description and description value and price maybe price value right in here price value and images so images in here we also need continents information it comes from this continent value state so these are the all the things that we need to send into the server so after to do this http request we will get some response from the backend so if response and data and success we do something and else alert and fail to upload product and we need to make this api inside the product controller so go to product route and in here copy and paste it and copy this one and paste it in here so delete unnecessary parts and the things we need to do is to save for the data that we got from the client into the database so we need to use the oh, we made this the product model so we need to bring the product model uh, inside the product controller so product and model slash product and we put this model uh, in here and inside this model we put all the data by using request and body so inside this request body we have all of the data we send from this front end so it has a writer information title description all the data now inside the request body so we put all the information inside the product collection so new const product so product and save and we will call the callback function error and product maybe we don't need this one also if we have error return response and status 400 and json and success force because we have error and we also send the error in here but if it was successful response and status 200 and json and success true so this is all for this upload product api so we go back to our upload the product page and so after being successful 
So what we need to do is uh, we can just say uh, product successfully uploaded and then so if we successfully upload this one we want to move the page into maybe here so so what we need to do in here is the props and history and push and like this after alert this one yeah we will move this page into this location that's what we will do after being successful for this upload product so we go back to our application and we will really try it now first uh just upload some image like this and then type test and test the price will be just uh, 20 in europe and submit product successfully uploaded and then okay and we come to this uh, landing page so it was so successful thank you for watching this video and see you in our next section thank you